Hello, my beautiful, beautiful, beautiful diamonds, my diamonds. Sheila True Love here with you. How many men are out there that honestly believe that if they leave you, <laughs> that uh, you're going to fall apart? I want to come back. <laughs> Those men are delusional because actually women tend to do better when they finally get up the courage to fly solo. Okay, let's take a listen here with Ace Metaphor. Love him. Totally loving this man. He speaks with a lot of wisdom. Here we are. Well, sure. I hate when toxic people that didn't do nothing but bring stress in your life think that if you leave them, that you're going to fall apart, that you're going to do all bad by yourself. No, 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 no. Before I met you, I was doing good. I had a healthy heart. You broke that shit. And you think that if I leave you, I'm going to suffer? You think that if I leave your toxic ass, I ain't going to find nobody better? You must not know about me. You must not know about me. My point <laughs> is, you are the reason I'm stressed out. You are the reason I was lonely. You are the reason I'm doubting my self-worth. If I extract you out of my life, guess what? I can start healing again. I can start loving myself again. You keep thinking if I leave you, I'm going to fall flat on my face. But guess what? Being in a relationship with you is the reason why I'm questioning my self-worth so if i leave you i can start healing quit thinking that you the best i can do because you're not i hate when toxic people that didn't do nothing but bring stress in your life think that if you leave them that you're gonna fall apart that you're gonna do all bad by yourself no 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 no, no. before i met you i was doing good i had a healthy heart you broke that shit and you think that if I leave you, I'm going to suffer? You think that if I leave your toxic ass, I ain't going to find nobody better? You must not know about me. You must, must not, not know, know about me. You must not know about me. You must not know about me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. I was, like, totally enjoying that one. Yeah, baby. I noticed that when I have no no no, no dusties in my life, I, I, I achieve more. I get more done. I have my freedom. I, um, I'm just like one of these happy, very happy women. And I don't understand, like when I go on my Facebook, whatever, and I look at the runaway husbands and you have these women who are miserable talking about how much they miss him and I want him back. They don't care how much abuse he did to her. Uh, he was an alcoholic. He was a drug addict. He put her through so much and I'm like scratching my head. I don't get it. That's called trauma bonding. You know, a lot of these women don't realize that it's not love, sweetheart. Most of this is not love, darling. It's trauma bonding. It's fear of being alone. It's codependency. It's any and everything, but you must not know about me. Yeah. I'm sorry. That song is in my head now. <laughs> but yeah, I do. I do so much better when I don't have a ball and chain, you know? And I can't see for the life of me, what am I missing out on not being married? What? Cooking for free? I have a list here. What the hell am I missing out on? Yeah, you see, I keep notes of everything that I do. What am I missing out on because I choose to be single? Let's see. And what am I missing out on because I choose not to be attached to a man for the rest of my life? Most dudes, they will tell you that you're going to... Uh, end up lonely as hell, but you just heard what Ace Metaphor said. We do better without you, sweetheart, for real, for real. Okay? But here's how I see it, and so does so many other women. I'm missing out on a whole lot of unpaid labor that is really appreciated, a whole lot of cooking and cleaning and laundry, emotional labor, giving birth, child care, et cetera, et cetera. Not to mention, women are now bringing home the baking and also helping to pay the bills. Marriage does not serve women the same way that it serves men. I can tell that Ace Metaphor must have daughters, you know, because I, I look at uh, R.C. Blake a lot also, and he has three daughters. And that's why he does what he does, because you never know Tomorrow is not promised to any of us. We could walk out here today or tomorrow and there could be a drive-by shooting and someone could end up getting shot or hurt. A brick could fall down from somewhere. Anything can happen. So I'm sure people like Ace Metaphor and people like R.C. Blake and uh, Tony Gaskin, who also have children, 
you know, they are making a lot of these videos, not only for our benefit, but also for their family members. So they're spilling the tea in terms of how men really think. And this should help to benefit a lot of women. Here I put, alone does not mean being lonely. Being single does not mean that you are alone. Marriage is for people who I feel they can't be happy unless they have a man. Like the Bible says, if you have like this huge sex drive that you can't control, then it's better for you to marry than to burn with passion. That's pretty much all marriage is for, from what I see, and if you want children. And with the way this world, the state, of the way this world is, good luck with bringing those children. You know, uh, for those who can maintain, you know, themselves without burning with passion. Well, I got the I got the rose and the rabbit, babe. She she the true love handle her business once a week, sometimes twice. Yo, what can I tell you? <laughs> Multiple orgasms, guaranteed. And you don't have to wait, wake up, get up with just a wet behind. You got more that you know what I mean. But yeah, now for those who can maintain, they are usually happier because they have more time to feel and draw closer to God in Christ. You can do a whole lot more when it comes to God in Christ. You can focus more as 1 Corinthians chapter 7 makes it very clear. I also have that right here. You know, I did my research, honey. I'm always doing my research. And here at 1 Corinthians chapter 7, take a look. My advice, to be honest, Jesus records, Sabbath royalty, you know, he says that if you get married, those who marry will have a lot of trouble. Look at how I highlighted it in orange. And this is biblical. Look at the scripture, 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 8, verse 28, and verse 38, and verse 40. And this is from the contemporary English version. You can read it from whatever version you choose to, but it still has the same principle, the same basic meaning. And it says, those who marry will have a lot of trouble and I want to protect you from this. And it says to women who are unmarried or for women who may have married, but they're now their widows, is that it is acceptable for them to remain single and i'm just saying i promote singleness because it's easier that's that's pretty much all i'm saying is it's just so much easier you don't have to worry about somebody else's attitude somebody else's mood swings somebody else's issues it's just easier me my point is yeah. you are Go the ahead, reason honey. i'm people bring Go i ahead. hate when toxic people that didn't do nothing but bring stress in your life think that if you leave that you're going to fall apart. That you're going to do all bad by yourself. No, 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 no. Before I met you, I was doing good. I had a healthy heart. You broke that sh And you think that if I leave you, I'm going to suffer? You think that if I leave your toxic ass, I ain't going to find nobody better? You must not know about me. You must not know about me. My point <laughs> is, you are the reason I'm stressed out. You are the reason I was lonely. You are the reason I'm doubting my self-worth. If I extract you out of my life, guess what? I can start healing again. I can start loving myself again. You keep thinking if I leave you, I'm going to fall flat on my face. But guess what? Being in a relationship with you is the reason why I'm questioning my self-worth. So if I leave you, I can start healing. Quit thinking that you the best I can do because you're not. I hate when toxic people that didn't do nothing but bring stress in your life think that if you leave them, that you're going to fall apart. And the thing about it is when they say I can do better, it don't always have better don't always have to be a man. You can find healthy relationships to get involved. Yes, I could do better than you. I can have wonderful female friends in my life, family in my life that I may not have given the attention that I should have been giving to them. I can do so much better than you. Watch the kind of people that I bring into my life now. I can always do better. Ace, metaphor, I love you, darling. Smooches, smooches. Diamonds, diamonds, diamonds.